hello guys you will agree with me that migration is a big deal right so today we are going to be looking at how to use ShareGate to migrate emails from one tenant to another so i have just created a user and the user is called email migration and the uh, user principal name is what you can see here email.migration at m365 this.onmicrosoft.com right so this is a very brand new user whose mailbox is empty it's zero and then i have another user here in uh, another tenant um pillarsconcepts.onmicrosoft.com i mean pillarsconcept.com.ng and this user has contents in his mailbox right has 60 deleted then 314 um inbox and has 14 draft if you look at his calendar also you are going to see that he has series of meetings that are scheduled here right so if i bring this up to this screen now you would also find out that this guy has no um probably has no meeting schedule right nothing right so so what we want to do now is to see that we migrate both the email the calendar and the contact from here which is from this user here to the user that we just created now so enough of the story i'm just going to pull my vm to this place where i have the tenants the two tenants connected so in case you've not connected you just come here add connection and then you put the tenant and then you hit on connect so i have the two tenants here this tenant and this tenant here so i'm going to be migrating from joseph here in pillars concepts to um uh, email migration user here whose mailbox is obviously empty right so what i will do here is for me to come to copy so if i come to copy i would see if i scroll down here excuse me if i come to um, copy mailboxes rather I will see copy mailboxes and this include uh, what's what's going to be copied include them email the contact the folder the calendar the contact and even more so if you hit on this now then you click on so once you wait so what will happen is it will load the connections that you have and then let's see what we're going to pick from now just give it a second for it to load the tenants that are connected so this is showing that it is connected to another tenant which is MVP benefit. So what I want to do is to change the connection to this place, right? So now what it means is that I'm going to be copying from Pillars Concept and whose mailbox am I going to be copying? Of course, you can decide to... Now what, what happens here is I'm going to copy the mailbox of which user. Of course, I can search here. That is if I'm just doing for only this user and then it's bringing up my account already and I'm picking this that's the mailbox I want to copy for this particular demo I want to focus on just one user just so we can see how it is going so we we'll just say continue to destination and then this time around it asking me because I've connected MVP benefit I've connected this tenant and then you know then I'm copying obviously from here so what I will do is I'm copying from here or I'm migrating mailboxes from here to this right so once this happens I have option to select the date range of the emails that I want to migrate so I have option to say okay I want to migrate the emails for the last 90 days I can have option to say for the last 180 days I can as well customize the date to bear what I want to have but I just want to quickly do it of course I can do it right by just coming here selecting the date that I want and then put it to today you know I can do this to move by month or I can also do this to move like this and then of course but I just want us to copy emails i mean migrate emails that are just maybe the last 180 days is fine by me but of course i can take it longer than that so what happens is that do i want calendar to also be migrated i can leave it here do i want to create new matching link for teams events and destinations of course i can also do that do i want contacts to go as well as the mailbox rules if i am comfortable with that so what i would just do is before i even do that i need to show you again that that tenant that we are trying to move to 
to that we are trying to migrate emails to is just empty mailbox right so if i come here of course you can see that it is just empty correct and then again if i come here to my inbox where i am migrating from you can see the content here this is just me trying to revert to what we had started looking at so let me again pull this one to this side and then let us see something now so what we just do is once we are done with that we can click on start matching and then uh, it's just showing me that yes what I want to do is um, this please view your mapping and the preview map so go it so what is there is it's telling me that yes from what you want to do you want to copy from this user Joseph here to which account which user here of course I am just continuing from here so it's actually taking a match of my name here in the other thing and but this is not what i want to, to put it i want to put it at email migration right which is this account i'm sure you take note of what just happened so it was doing an auto match between my name in this tenant and my name in the destination tenant because i have an account that matches with joseph Afeso, but of different upn right or of different domain so now because it was matching with the wrong account in my intended you know migration because it was doing a match but this time i'm saying no don't worry about the match just get my emails and give it to this user called email migration right if you have a question here you can also drop it in the comment section so now that i've been able to successfully match this what i want to do i've just say continue mapping and then see what happens is that it's still giving me all the other users options just so if i want to migrate content and then i want of course you can see that this is coming from this to this so if i have this guy and i want to match this guy's emails also to another user of course i can go ahead and set for that user now but i am just going to be focusing on only one user mailbox contact calendar and all of that migrating to another user so if i check again if i'm just seeing that this match again is not making much sense to me i can also try to say i want you to go to email migration right so i'm just going to hit on this and i will say start copy so if i say start copy i will again hit on this is just option showing me again like a summary of what i have set to take place here is a summary you are migrating pillars concepts email um, exchange online content to so this other tenant and if you are sure of this email of 180 days backward and then mail mapping and all the summary is coming up here recipient mapping one of 28 users that are there then items to be copied you have email you have attachment you have folders you have calendar you have contact you have mailbox rule i'll just hit on start copy and what happened next is it will prepare the environment and the mapping will take place so let me see if i can quickly bring up this other guy to the screen so that we can observe if changes are already coming in so let's see you can see the mails are flying in already from the other tenants so you can if i bring up this here now and i show you you're going to see that there is a progress 86 90 to 96 like that counting and as that counting is going on you are going to be seeing those emails coming through here until when this shows 100 percent then all the emails would have arrived here already so far you can see it counting to 58 here and then and so on you see those contents coming in gradually so this is how simple it is for you to do a migration so i'm just going to wait even while on this call we can just be having the fun of looking between the share gate end and the tenant where the migration is going on uh, going to right so it is here now let's see it's saying that um, we have 355 successes and then we have two warnings and one error so you can decide to export um, the report so that you can view what what is there so let me just save this in my downloads and then just look at the name there i'm going to hit on save and then open file for me to investigate that error that came through so that is how simple it is for you to do um so once this is successful you can exit the you can exit the session just so everything is again set but i just want you to take note of what we have now we have 58 emails here and then we have all these showing up here so 
this again is just those emails that are showing up from the other tenants before the migration so if we expand this and pull it down to this side and we also come to look at the calendar and then we come to this other side and we do it this way you would find out that the sessions that we have in this user's calendar which is from the source location of the migration to the destination you would also find out that the the um calendar content are the same so if you go to check the contact as well so all the elements or the component or the contents that we are migrated will truly show or replicate here as you have them in this other place how do you find this tool you can leave your comments in the comment section thank you very much for your time and if you like this content hit on the like button uh, if you've not subscribed yet to this channel you may also want to hit on the um subscribe button thank you very much for your time and have a nice day peace